I wrote a book on, on AI, um, like a layman's guide to AI. Is it finished? Uh, and uh, just to, to give you a bit of a, I was a nobody when I did the book. So like normally it's professors or, or consultants who do it to sell their stuff. I had a real job, I, I, I run a company, but it was when we moved back to Finland, I realized that very few of, of the people who are decision makers grasp what, what is the power of AI. Yes. I wrote the book. By the way, that's not just Finland. That's yeah, the whole but, fucking but, but, world. Yeah, but that's what I felt when I came yep. to Finland. And, and so I wrote the book, it became a bestseller. It's the best-selling business book in Finland this year. Yes. And the way we're heading is like, well, of course, people are, are getting to grasp it. But also, now when we're, uh, we're getting a translation, it's gonna be in English later this year. And my question to you is, and I hope it's not listening to your heart, is that to go to traditional route of publishing house or, or to self-publish, to self-market. It's a very simple game. It has nothing to do with following your heart like you, him and I believe in. Yeah. It's actually very practical. You either think the upfront check from the publisher is worth it or you don't. It's not super complicated. They're gonna offer you, you know, a dollar to ten million dollars for it, and you're gonna decide. Look, I control all my stuff, but Harper Collins, the book that he sold next, yeah. makes it worth my while for the upfront cash flow, for them to share in the economics on the back end. I have figured out after writing five books how much I think I'm gonna sell. I have a sense every year or two how much bigger my audience is, what's happening. And you know, for example, this last book, Crushing It, that just came out, it was a two book deal. We almost didn't get it done. I pushed them much harder than I did the last ones because I was explaining to them that I had felt a year and a half ago that I was on the verge of exploding to a next level. I ended up being right. In the last 18 months, I'm in a different place than I was for the prior eight years. It's been growing. I felt that. Thus, I made them pay me an extra million dollars after already going further than they normally went because I didn't want to leave economics on the back and I would have said, fuck it, I'll go self-publishing and I'll go on Amazon and I'll keep the economics. But if I can get my economics that I think it's worth and I can get some upfront cash flow and no risk, fine. So I think for you, when you go and do that, are they giving you the economics you believe it's worth, all the energy it's worth, but all they are is a bank. All it is is a loan. Yeah. It's just a loan. There's nothing else. So if they give you $100,000 up front and you think that's worth it, or if you calculate how much you expect to sell and you feel like that works out, then that's great. I mean, that's, that's not, listen, they're not gonna do anything. There's no marketing, there's nothing else. They're, gonna, the they're, gonna, they're, gonna, they're gonna print it and they're gonna distribute it. Okay. It's just you want the cash up front, the end. Or the leverage of saying, you know, I'm with HarperCollins or Pegna, which by the way, carries some cachet to some groups of people. Yeah. One last one yet? Yeah. 